Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to 3D Now. My name is Jack, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Zone Star P802 QR2 Double Extruder 3D Printer. So hopping right into the video, I'm going to give a big shout out and thanks to GearBest.com for sending me this printer for review. And if you want to purchase this printer, I'll put a link down below to GearBest to where you can buy this printer. So this is the Zone Star Double Extruder 3D Printer and of course it has two extruders. And I really wanted to try this when GearBest contacted me because of course it's a do-it-yourself kit. It's pretty low cost for a dual extruder printer and right now it's at a price of $239 which is not bad at all. So when GearBest sent this to me, it shipped extremely fast and was packed nicely in a foam box. All the electronics were sealed in anti-static bags and nothing was broken or misplaced in shipments. Inside the box were all the parts needed to start printing except for a spool of filament or two spools because it has two extruders. But all the tools were included, there were zip ties, rubber bands, anything you would need to get this printer built and started printing. This printer was super easy to assemble. They had YouTube videos and they had separate videos for wiring and building. And for me, it took about four hours until it was fully assembled and printing. I would recommend watching a few tutorials if you're a beginner. This printer is gonna be a little bit hard for a true beginner. So I would watch some videos on YouTube or look at some diagrams or go on their GearBest page to just get to know the printer and all the tips and tricks on how to put this thing together perfectly. So once the Zone Star printer is assembled, they have included painter's tape, which I put on the bed and it was ready to print. So I turned it on, worked the first time everything powered up and I calibrated the bed. And once that was done, I was ready to print my first dual color print. So I popped an SD card with a slice file from Cura and started printing. But there was one problem with the G code file. I did not get the spacing between the left and right nozzle correct. So I had to change that spacing a few more times until I eventually got the right distance. And after that, it printed really, really well. There were a few problems, which I'll get to in a little bit, but for the first print, it turned out pretty decent. So when you're printing with dual extruders or with two colors or, or two materials, you're gonna want either a prime tower or an ooze shield when you switch between the two nozzles. So a prime tower is a box behind the object where it goes and makes a square, a pass around to just prime the next nozzle, make sure that it's ready to print correctly. I tried a prime tower and it worked some of the times, but others it wouldn't stick to the painter's tape bed and it kept falling down, which ruined some of the prints. But after that, I tried an ooze shield on my last print and that turned out perfectly. So I would definitely recommend using an ooze shield, which is sort of like a prime tower, except for, except for that it makes those nozzle priming layers around the object itself and it also prints faster. It doesn't have to move to the prime tower in the back of the build plate. So if, if you have a zone star, I would recommend using an ooze shield. All right, so now that this printer is printing, here is my list of pros about the zone star double extruder printer. So what I love, I really, really like the full metal frame and construction. The whole thing is bent and laser cut metal. All the screws are metal. There are pretty much no plastic parts on this printer, except for the, the 3D printed parts for the Z carriage, but that is printed super solid. Next thing is the auto leveling and the heated bed. When you're printing with multiple materials, you're gonna want a heated bed sometimes, and this printer has it. In addition, it has an auto leveling sensor. So in your slicer, you click that has an auto bed level, and before the print, it will automatically level the four corners of the bed to make sure that the first layer is perfect. And also built into the printer is some software that if you click auto calibrate, it will automatically calibrate the printer so the nozzles are the correct height above the bed. So in addition, I like that it has an SD card slot for, for printing offline. And it also has a USB support with an LCD screen with five buttons on it so you can navigate through the menu without hooking it up to a computer. Also, of course, I love the dual extruders and the variable temperatures for each. So if you have two different materials like PLA that require two different temperatures, you can adjust that so the two nozzles can have different temperatures. 
or if you wanted to print with two different materials, like say a PLA and a PVA, you can do that by changing the temperatures on both extruders so both of the materials will print correctly. Also, I liked the M4 Bowden extruders. These are really beefy Bowden feed systems. Also, you can print many materials on this printer and you can print them actually pretty fast. I was comfortable printing this at probably 80 millimeters per second with dual extruders and I was getting some pretty good results too. Also, a cool feature about the Zone Star printer is that you can actually swap the tool heads for something like a laser engraver. So you can buy this extra laser engraver part and you can actually swap out the dual extruder head for the laser engraver. Also, this printer is good for learning dual extrusion. If you don't want to hop right into a $1,000 or $2,000 printer for dual extrusion, this is an amazing price for a dual extruder printer and it works really, really well. So I would recommend this printer if you're looking to get into dual extrusion or trying it out. And like every single printer on the market, 3D printers all have cons. So I'm going to just go over just a few of my negatives about this printer and actually don't have that many at all. Just a few small things that I would like to see differently is that it takes a little bit to get both of the extruder nozzle heights calibrated. So you have to take off the fan and the steel mount and you have to adjust both the nozzles um, individually by hand with, a, with an allen key to be the same exact height. Mine was pretty close in shipment, but I had to adjust them after a few prints to get both nozzles to be the same height because as you can see in one of my prints, one of the nozzles was lower than the other and when it went back to use the prime tower, it actually hit the print and knocked it off the bed while printing, which you don't want. Also, wiring this printer might take a little while because the wiring video isn't the most detailed but if you have some experience with 3D printing, you can definitely get through it. They included some wire wraps and zip ties in the box too, which helped with wire management. And finally, with dual extrusion, it's hard to calibrate in your slicer the distance between the left and right nozzle perfectly. It might take a few tries, but, the, but, but this comes with using a dual extrusion printer. So wrapping this video up, this printer is fantastic for getting into dual extrusion 3D printing. And it has a very sturdy design with an extremely affordable price. For right now, it is $239 on GearBest, which is amazing for a dual extrusion printer with heated bed, metal frame, and if you want to buy one of these Zone Star printers, I will put a link down below for GearBest and you can purchase some there. And again, I want to give a huge thanks and shout out to GearBest.com for sending me this printer for review. And please go to the website for any 3D printing needs, filament, 3D printers, any, any 3D printing accessories, or any electronics. GearBest has them all. I'll put a link down below again to get this printer. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more 3D printer videos like this. Comment down below if you have any questions. I'll make sure to answer every single one of them. And I'll see you guys in the next video.